guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Pack Squads, and today we're bringing guys episode number four. And last episode, we ended off with a four game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to a fifth and sixth one this episode. And our team is really improving. We got a lot of new players on our team, and right now we're starting fresh in Division 9. So uh, we got a pretty good team that we're rocking with. Not gonna lie, it's definitely usable. Uh, so we will go through it before we start because there are a lot of new faces, like I said. But on our first line, we got Chris Kreider, Galchenyuk, and Dano. Then we got Terry, Richardson, and Burroughs. On the third, we got Jokinen, Gostad, and Reeves. And on the fourth, we got Birkowski, we got Tzizikas, and Lance Boma. I kind of went off of someone's suggestion to put on Dano on the first line right wing. I kind of copied someone's lineup, except I didn't put in Lamasari, even though he has been lighting it up. I kind of want to just rock with the best overall players rather than having some players that were just scoring well for me because I think defense is just as important as offense, especially in the higher divisions, even though Division 9 is not the highest divisions. But anyways, let's go to the defense now. We got Seidenberg, we got Weber, uh, we also got uh, Roosevelt, Forbort, as well as Stoner and Pollock on the third. And we're also giving Eddie Lack his debut. So we'll definitely have to see how well he plays in this next game of uh, Pack Squad. So let's get this game going. Let's see if we can win this one. Alright guys, here we go. First game of the episode. He's got Sean Couturier. Uh, that, I think that was Thomas Tatar on his left wing. Don't know who was on his right wing, but let's get this game going. We got Kreider. We got a lot of good players. So definitely not one of the harder teams we face in terms of players, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, oh, what? Got by. 5 hole. No, couldn't score that goal. Uh, pass it back to the point. Rip it, pull off. Puck chop it in. Uh, I think he got a penalty there, so... We're on the power play. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. Oh, Berkowski. Pass it back to Sezikis. The backhand for in. And it does work. And we beat his goalie. I don't know who has those green pads on. But nice little uh, passing play there. And we do tuck it in. Definitely not one of the harder opponents I faced though. I mean, uh, pretty easy breakaway to score on there. Not too much effort. But it's still one to nothing. I like that lead. Oh, he's got three seconds left. Can he score the goal? Oh, no, no. Eddie lacks standing strong, but that is the end of the second period. I didn't really commentate over the first one because not many, like, not much action going on. 11 of 7 in shots. 5 minutes and 33 seconds time of attack to 4 minutes and 33 seconds. So, we're playing good so far. I just keep it up. Maybe get that insurance marker. Oh, that's just too easy. That is too easy. Alexander Burroughs. Pretty much similar goal to the first one I scored, but Burroughs does a nice little move by the defender. I just feel kind of bad. Like, I could blow at these games. I, I know I can, but it's just, it just doesn't feel right, especially in Division 9. I don't know. Just it's just such a giant skill gap in these games, but whatever. I'll take the lead. 2 to nothing in the third period. I don't know how that went in. <laughs> Richardson with an absolute blast. Just to tuck that one in, but it's three to nothing. A little bit too much power in my opinion, but whatever. Three to nothing. We'll keep going here. Oh, once again, Richardson with a nice little move. Nice pass from Burroughs too, and this line is just on fire. I don't know. Anyways, four to nothing. Not gonna gloat too much. Oh, and Gostad tucking that one in, picking up the garbage. That's too easy. Well, that's a nice beer. I've never seen Gostad play before, so. Anyways, 5 to nothing. There's basically a minute left, so we'll go right to the end. Alright, so, 0 seconds left, and that ends off this game. We, we win with a score of 5 to nothing, so that means we continue our streak with a 5 game win streak, which also means we can buy a special pack, but there are no special packs out right now, so. What I'll do is just I'll open up uh, 5 87 50 packs because we are on a 5 game win streak. Just a very easy game in my opinion. 23 and 20 shots. Even though the stats don't really tell, but uh, just the chances I could tell were a lot higher quality on my end. Alexander Burroughs getting the first star. Richardson getting the second. As well as Eddie Lack with his debut getting a shutout, which is pretty nice. So, anyways, let's go ahead and buy those packs. I'll meet you guys there. Yeah, unfortunately there are no special packs out right now. I should have timed it more properly, but uh, I guess we'll just negate that rule for now because... You know what, it doesn't really matter too much. We'll open up a 5 87 50s because we are on a 5 game win streak. So let's get these opened up and uh, we'll see if we can pull anything good. Like there, like I said, there is a team of the week from the last episode. Nothing has really changed too much. So we'll see if we can pull one of those. 
And in this first pack, we got Party, a Duplicate, we got Domingue, and a Clink Hammer. So, I will collect those players just in case we need them. Uh, we also got Fiddler, uh, we got a Change Team Ottawa, and a Vancouver Connects jersey. I'll keep the injury as well. So, send those to the collection, and we'll move on to the next pack there. Quick sell it. And we'll open up the second pack here. And let's try a skip pack, alright? We can open up uh, four more after, or three more after this one. Skip this pack. And we got Martin, Downey, and Hensick. Alright, some pretty solid players there. Definitely could use Martin on the right wing somewhere. Uh, we also got a right wing center. We cover four games. And we also got a New Jersey, uh, New York Rangers um, logo. So we don't exactly need that. We will quick sell the rest of this pack and move on. Three more 8750 packs. Can our luck change around? We still, we're still looking for like a superstar. I don't know. I know we have Chris Kreider, but something else would be nice. Uh, we got Miller. We got Flynn as well as McGinn. That kind of rhymed there. Uh, I guess I'll keep all those players. At least right defenseman. That's a nice right defender. 83 overall. We also got a captain card, which I guess I'll keep. As well as a couple jerseys there. But other than that, nothing too uh, special. I guess I'll send those all to the collection anyways. So we got um, one more pack here, I think. Two more packs. I'll have to look back. But we got, we got this pack here. Let's see what we get. It's going to be... Uh, Nelson, all right, Bro uh, Brock Nelson, 85 overall, and we got Perrin Tovechkin, all right, that's not a bad pickup, some more uh, rare gold players that we can use on our team, uh, we got a change team Minnesota, a couple more jerseys and the logos, and that's it for that pack. All right, so let's open up the last 8750 pack here, let's see if we can get something good, I mean, last pack was pretty good, not gonna lie, we got a couple 85s and 83 there as well. And this one, we do get Soderberg, not a bad player, of course. Atkinson and Verone. We will send all those guys to the collection for now. We'll try to build up the best team we can. So nothing else too special. So send those to the collection. I'll go back to the team now. All right, guys. So let's just do a small little team update before we start up the second game of the episode. Uh, the team has changed by quite a bit after opening up those five packs. So we did add in uh, Parento on the first line right wing spot. Uh, we also put in Nelson and Atkinson, some new faces on the second line as well. On the third, we also put in some more new faces, Soderberg and Downey. And on the fourth, we moved down Dano all the way there, as well as Sezikis and Martin are now on that fourth line. Uh, so our team has changed by quite a bit. I honestly just put in the highest overalls there. So uh, I, I honestly don't think it makes that big of a difference if I play with, uh, say, less, uh, less overall players that have scored goals or higher overall players that haven't even scored goals yet. I think I'm just going to give everybody a chance to play because uh, we're still so high in the division, it doesn't really matter too much. As well as on the defense spot, we got Seidenberg, Eddie Lack, and we also got the Miller, the new pickup. Uh, we also got Weber, and I did take a four board. I thought, why not throw in Roosevelt in there? He is a little bit higher overall, and he does have a right-handed shot, so I'll keep him there for now. As well as on the third left defensive spot, we got Stoner, and we also got Pollock on the right defender spot. And honestly, I don't really want to break up this pairing just yet, because it is a very solid pairing so far for me and Pack Squad. So, that's pretty much it. So, let's get started to the second game of the episode. I'll meet you guys in the game. Alright guys, in the second game of the episode, he's got some better players than the other guy. He's got Bodker, Forsberg, and Anisimov on his first line. So, let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there it is. Nice little pass to Atkinson. And he tucks it in. Honestly, not too hard of goal to score, so we'll keep moving on. First period, still 12 minutes left. Let's keep it up. Oh, wow. Oh, there it is. Another goal. We're definitely facing a French kid here, but we make it 2 to nothing. Nice little backhand, and we tuck it in. Any French guys know what they're saying. <laughs> I'll have to turn off his mic, but anyways, still 2 to nothing. Uh, we'll keep it up. Oh, he's got the break. Can he capitalize on it? And he does. There you go. Finally, the first goal someone scored on me for a while, but I don't know. I'll give it to him. I wasn't trying yes. to do that Ooh. blind poke check or anything. I don't know. What is he got? What is he saying, French guys or French people? Subscribe to me. All right. Still two to one. We're just about to end that first period. Oh, there it is. Martin tucking it in. Just a garbage, greasy goal. Alright, 3-1 to one in the first period. We'll keep it going. Alright, had to make sure I had to mute him first, but uh, so far we're playing a pretty good game. 14-3 and three in shots. 3 minutes and 30 seconds time on attack to 1 minute and 24 seconds. So, 
I'm, co I'm kind of contemplating whether it was a good idea to go back into Division 10. I mean, it's almost too easy right now. So I'm wondering if I should, like, I don't know, kind of worsen the prizes, I guess, the, the rewards for winning games. Because right now, it's almost too easy. And there's another goal. Atkinson tucking in another one. He's definitely very strong on the right wing. He's definitely getting in position for those uh, cross creasers, I guess. But we make it 4-1 to one in the second period. Oh, wow. He actually scores another one off one of my defenders. And a vodka right there tucks another one in for him, making it 4-2. to two. All right, definitely not out of the question that he can't win this game, so got to play a little bit better for sure. Like, come on, that's just too easy. I'm not even sprint skating there. I don't know. After saying that, he's going to get a breakaway. Oh, <laughs> he actually scores it. That's the only thing this guy knows how to do, is just score on uh, breakaways. And he's only off by one goal now. Find that hilarious. All right, four to three. I guess we gotta play a little bit better. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know how that went in, but Parento comes on front, shoots it on net, and then Kreider picks up the garbage there. We make it back five to three. All right, let's do our set play here. See if we can win the puck back. There you go. Weber, back to Roosevelt, coming in hot with a shot, couldn't tuck that one in. Uh, let's pass it back down low. Kreider, who's open? Who's open? Uh, there it is. Back to Weber. Shoot! Get the garbage in. Keep shooting on net. Oh, Parento, Parento Ovechkin. He's got it. Deke once. Uh, couldn't get through the legs, though. Polak, coming in with a big hit. No, he's going to score another breakaway. Oh, wow, that was the first breakaway he missed, actually, which is pretty surprising, but... Oh, Martin's got a chance now. So many chances. Wind it up and rip it! Oh, there's still an open net. Oh, Dan, oh, all right. It's <laughs> still 5-3. to three. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, so that is the end of the game. Uh, so definitely not too hard an opponent. I, I kind of knew what the outcome was going to be the whole game, so... Anyway, let's... Take a look at the stats here, and then we'll go ahead and buy those packs. All right, so 15 to 34 in shots, 5 minutes and 44 seconds, time on attack to 10 minutes and 19 seconds. The three stars of the game, uh, Atkinson, and then we also got Stoner and Burroughs. All of our guys getting uh, the three stars there, so that's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and buy uh, three 17.5k packs because we are on a seven-game win streak, or a six-game win streak. I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so since we're on a 6 game win streak, we can either open up 6 gold premium uh, packs or we can open up 3 of these gold premium jumbo packs. It equates to the same thing, so we'll open up 3 gold premium jumbos this time instead of the 6 uh, gold jumbos there. So let's get these opened up. Let's see if we can get, get any good players here. Alright, and the first pack we're gonna get... Um, I don't see anybody too special there. We got Kemper, McBain. Not sure if I can use any of those guys, but we'll send them to the collection. No real high overalls there as well. Uh, we also got some jerseys. We got Coach Samuels. We can get rid of Fiddler now. Uh, we also got a New York Rangers jersey and Rome. So send that to the collection. And we'll move on to the next pack. All right, so the second gold premium jumbo. See if our luck can change around just a little bit. Come on, pull one of those new team of the weeks. Just something. All right, and this one, we got Smith. All right, an 85 overall player. We also got Medved. Uh, Kyle Quincy as well. Not a bad uh, overall stat, I guess. 83 overall. Uh, Lyndon Bay, Gordon, uh, Matt Hunwick as well. Any players at the back? Nope, just jerseys. And we got a pretty good quickster in there, Mason Raymond. Got a little bit of speed in there as well. So send that once again to the collection. Move on to the next pack. All right, pack number three. That, pack, that last pack was definitely not bad. Just hopefully we don't get too many uh, non-rare golds in this one. All right. Let's see what we get. Come on. Show something good. And this one, uh, Eric Jelena, definitely a solid player there. Uh, we also got Cunningham, uh, Eves, um, we got Jokinen again, Nemeth, Clifford. Man, we're going to be finishing these collections very soon too. Uh, change Team Columbus, take some of those uh, injury cards as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll send all that to the collection. I'll meet you guys back at the team. All right, guys, so welcome back to the team. Uh, but before I end off this episode and tell you all the players that we added in, 
I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about kind of where I want the series to go and kind of like just some problems I've been having with it so far. As you guys know, right now we are we're on a six game win streak, so that means we can open up uh, six gold premium packs, I guess. But uh, I have a feeling that you know by division eight, division seven, division six, we're gonna have like a 20 or 25 game win streak and. I really feel like our team is going to get too good at that point if every single game we're going to be opening up uh, 15 gold premium jumbo packs. Like this team is going to get stacked uh, very very quickly and I kind of don't want it to be like that. These rules were kind of meant for division 1 and I mean it was supposed to be a struggle to get packs but right now it's almost too easy. Like I can go into a game and already kind of gauge out by the first couple minutes whether I'm going to win the game or not. So I don't know. I feel like there needs to be a rule change before we start up episode number 5. And you know what, this team, honestly, I could go into Division 1 and I would be confident, at least trying my best to win with this team. I wouldn't be blown out, I would feel like. So, I mean, I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but that's just kind of how I feel so far. So you guys can let me know some suggestions on how this should be played. Maybe I should maybe wait for Hot Roulette to finish up, win that Division 1 title, and then transfer over my team and start this uh, Pack Squad series back in Division 1. Or something like that, right? Or maybe try to reach this uh, team into Division 4 or 3 first before I even start playing games again. Because right now, it's just too easy. And I feel like the reward system right now is just too great. Especially in Division 10 and 9 where I'm getting like 6, 7, 8 game win streaks, right? And it's only going to get like better from here. I mean, we're only going to get more win streaks at this point. So, I need a little bit of a change in the series. I can't be opening up like... 300k worth of packs every single episode or, or else it's going to be like the ultimate pack pull team where you know I have legends and all these guys by like division six or seven so I don't know you guys can let me know about that in the comment box below but anyways that's, guys that's about it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next episode of pack squads bye all right, so ASP Perry comes out again. We definitely see that one. Back to Fortune, Bobby Ryan, Bishop. Okay, not the most interesting trade there. Uh, Tarasenko, Boudreaux, and Skinbound, Boyne. 